Of course, if you haven't done so yet, make sure you pause the video, try the question on your own first before listening on. We are asked to calculate the percent of HNO3 by mass in a solution. In order to calculate the percent by mass, we would need to know two things. We would need to know the mass of the HNO3 that's present in the solution, and then we would need to know the total mass of our solution. Unfortunately, what makes this question challenging is we are given neither of those two quantities directly. What we are given is the density, so we can jot that down, that's the density of the solution. And that's equal to 1.42 grams per milliliter. And then we are given the molarity of the solution. So we can say molarity is equal to 16 molar. And somehow we have to take all of that information and convert it into a mass percent of HNO3. The trick to solving this question is to assume a total volume. The choice is up to you. But it turns out that it's easiest to assume that the liters of solution that you're dealing with in this question is equal to one liter. And as we will see, that's going to be very, very helpful. So the key, again, is to assume that the number of liters you have in this solution is one. Now, with that assumption, we're going to begin with the density formula. Now, we all know that density is equal to mass divided by volume. So here again, the density is of the solution. The mass would be of the solution and the volume would be of the solution. So those would all be solutions for consistency. We have assumed that the number of liters of solution is one liter. It will be useful here to remember that one liter is also equivalent to 1,000 milliliters. And the reason for that adjustment is that the density is given in terms of milliliters as well. So what we'll do is we'll plug in the density, 1.42 grams per milliliter equals the mass of the solution divided by the volume of the solution, which we have assumed to be 1,000 milliliters. Now what we'll do is we'll solve for the mass of the solution. So we would multiply both sides of this equation by 1,000 milliliters. They'll cancel out on the right-hand side. And then when we multiply these two numbers together, we're going to get 1,420. Notice the milliliters will cancel out. So this leaves you with 1,420 grams as the mass of your solution. Now this is a key value that we need because if you go back up to the percent by mass formula, one of the things we needed was the total mass of the solution. And we now have that, it's 1,420 grams. So we're halfway there in essence. Next, we have to find a way to get the mass of the component. Remember the component in this case is the HNO3. So it's important to keep that in mind. So our goal becomes to find the mass of HNO3. Let's obtain that by considering molarity, which we've written the formula for on the side here. So let's actually copy this formula and bring it down below so we can work with it. So molarity equals moles of solute over liters of solution. Our solute is the HNO3. So what we're going to do is plug in the given molarity as well as the one liter of solution that we assumed, and we can easily calculate the moles of solute. Recall that the molarity of our solution was 16 molar. So we'll come down here and we'll plug in 16 molar is equal to the moles of HNO3 divided by the liters. We've assumed it to be one liter. And that's actually why one liter was a nice easy assumption because when we multiply both sides of this by one liter, then we have a nice easy calculation over here. Remember when you multiply molarity by liters, you end up with moles. So you'll have 16 moles is equal to the moles of HNO3. We're nearly there, but we don't want the moles of HNO3. We want the mass of HNO3. But that's an easy conversion. We can take the moles of HNO3 and we can convert it into the grams. All we have to do is look up the molar mass. So we're going to have one, excuse me, on the bottom, we're going to have one mole of HNO3 is going to equal the molar mass of it. Now, 
we can get the molar mass by looking for the elements on the periodic table. And fortunately, we have them right here. So what we're going to do is find the molar mass by adding these together. So there's only one hydrogen, so we're going to multiply one hydrogen by the molar mass of hydrogen, add that to one nitrogen times the molar mass of nitrogen, which is roughly 14, and then add that to the three oxygens multiplied by the molar mass of oxygen. And when you sum those up, you get 63.01284 grams per mole. That's the molar mass of HNO3, and therefore, when we have one mole, it's 63.01284 grams. So this is nice because when we multiply, these are going to cancel out, and that's going to give us the grams that we seek. So basically multiply 16 by the molar mass, we get 1,008.21 grams of HNO3. So this is the mass of the component. Remember, we needed the mass of the component and then the total mass. We now have both of those. The total mass was 1420, and now the mass of the component is 1008. So we're ready to finish this question off by doing percent by mass of HNO3 is equal to the mass of the component divided by the total mass and then multiply that by 100. When you work that out, you end up with approximately 71% by mass of HNO3. And that is the correct answer to this question. Remember, it all started by assuming that the number of liters of solution was one liter. It would have worked if you chose another volume. You can try that if you'd like to, but one liter is the most convenient choice.